Okay, in this video, <clears throat> I want to show you how to go about creating a header in your design project. Okay, so I come on in, I can see that this is my header uh, right in here, and I want it to be 1900 by 300 pixels. Fabulous. So I'm going to close this up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my insert window. So I come to window, <clears throat> and I come to insert, and there it is up at the top. And I want to make sure that my insert window is set on HTML. And, you know, for many years before, I would just use a div tag in order to do this. But we can see that we actually have H an HTML tag now for a header. So I'm going to click HTML header. And I'm going to say that I want it to be at the insertion point. The insertion point is wherever the cursor is in the code. And I'm going to click New CSS Rule. Now I'm going to give it a um, name. And since the HTML is header, I'm going to just name it um, heading, okay? Uh, and just because I want to use it, I just want to use a different name. It's, sometimes the names get get can get a little wonky. Okay, so I'm going to say keep that right there. I'm going to hit. Okay, now let's actually take a look at this. So we can say a uh, contextual selector. We want to actually make this an ID. What's the difference between an ID and a class? Well, an ID applies to one element on that page. You can only use it once. And a class you can use multiple times. So I'm really gonna only have one heading, one header. So I'm gonna leave it as an ID. And I'm going to hit OK. All right, now I come on in. I'm gonna make the box the size that I want it to be. I'm gonna make the width, I forget, was it 1900, 1900? The height was 300. Now what I want to do for this too is I'm going to make the right and the left auto. What will happen when the right and the left are auto is they will automatically center. It will always center depend, even no matter what, depending upon the resolution of the monitor that's viewing it. I'm going to make it come down from the top a little bit. I'll set this at 30. Okay. Um, remember that about 72 pixels is an inch when designing for the web. And this may change as we start to see more and more 4K and retina displays. I'm going to hit OK. I'll hit OK one more time. And here I have my heading. So I'm going to zoom it on in. OK. And this should have centered. It doesn't look like it's centered. So let's go back in and let's check our rule. I'm going to highlight this. I can come into my CSS designer. OK. And I can see that I have this right here. So I have the margin left. The margin right are both auto and there we have it okay so sometimes when you view it it will work um, so we're going to hold off for a minute and then we'll take a look margin left margin right okay I'm going to zoom it back in let's put our content in so right now I can come on in I can see that in between these two the opening header tag and the closing header tag I can see that I just have this font. So I'm going to delete this font out. Now I want to make sure that I do not delete the tags. Okay, the tags are really important. What I'd like to do is sometimes put a space, come back. I want to make sure that when I place this image in that it's between the tags. I can come on in over to here and I can come in and say insert image and I'm going to come on into my images. I'm going to find the image that I want to use right here. Open. And there we have it. All right, excellent. So now let's take a look. I'm going to zoom in just a tiny little bit. Okay, and let's actually preview this. So what does this look at like? First, we're going to say File, Save. Okay, and then let's preview it. And in order to preview it, we can just hit Live and see what it looks like. Okay, so we get a sense of what it's looking like in live view, and we can see that it is centered. I'm zooming on in here, and I can totally see that it is centered. Now, sometimes too, we can also come on in and we can preview it in a browser. So whatever browsers you have installed on your computer, I'm gonna say preview in browser, preview it in Safari. Yes, I wanna save them, that's always important. Okay, and I'll bring on over my page here, and voila, here it is in Safari. 
Okay, now I need to go about and continue to add the nav bar, add, um, you know, the main content holder, the footer, and also a background color. But this gives you a really good sense of how to create a header. Before we close this video, let's take a look at the CSS that was generated through doing this. So here is my first CSS. Now, when we're uh, building IDs in CSS, it always begins with a hashtag. Classes will begin with a period, okay? So we have hashtag heading, we know it's an ID and not a class. And then underneath that, with starting with the red, pinkish red type, we can see what we are specifying. We've specified the height, we've specified the width, we've specified the margin top, we've specified the margin right, the margin left, auto, auto. Thanks so much.